Hi Leos, welcome in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's see what's happening this week for you. Most important messages, Leo, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Okay. Leo, all placements. <coughs> Guys, don't try to force any reading on your situation. Sometimes, uh, within first four or five minutes of the reading, you will be able to make out whether this reading is for you or not, right? If it does not resonate, watch it for a, some other sign, right? Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. So, but never try to force a reading on your situation. If it is not, it's not for you. Okay. Leo. Trust us, Leo. Okay. Wow. This is more like... I'll make the rules this time. I'm getting here. I see that you are sitting in a very delicate position. Very delicate um, situation here. You have the balance in your hands. Right? You are the one who is maintaining the balance in the situation. And no matter with this word, with what kind of words, with what kind of thoughts, whatever be the case, you are the one who has to maintain this balance, right? It's like you have taken this responsibility on yourself that I will maintain justice, I will maintain balance in the situation, right? I see a very responsible yet non-compromising situation here. What else do you have? Okay, Ace of Wands. So are you turning down the passion here? Someone's offering to you a new opportunity? Or this can be that once you disassociate yourself from the past situation, the new offer is here. But there is a transition. One thing is off and one thing is on coming in. We have the King of Cups can be coming from the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So in Cancer Pisces Scorpio can be very interested. All right, let's see what else we have here. Leo. We have the Judgment, the Two of Swords and the Hermit. Okay. I think after a phase of thinking a lot about a situation, you have to make a decision, right? I still see that it's in the process. I feel that you're almost there but still not there that kind of situation somebody maybe tried talking to you from your past somebody tried calling you maybe a proposal that was there on the table in past but because of some reason you were not able to enjoy it enjoy it to the fullest I think it's coming back or now you have to decide can be a choice between a Virgo and a Scorpio I'm also getting here a very interesting situation here, Leo. Someone is confused and thinking a lot about whether to call or not to call. The judgment card here, somebody is calling the people and there are a lot of people responding to the call, right? This doesn't have to be a call to a loved one or a relationship or love. In general, I see that you have something in your tummy. You're trying to block your heart. You are thinking that I don't know whether I should share this with other people or not. I see, oh, I'm sorry. I see a kind of situation where something is bothering you from within. There's some information, something that you have to share with other people. It's in your tummy. You're blocking it in your heart. And you are just not able to make a decision that whether I should be telling it or sharing it with the people around me or not i think this can be a kind of situation where maybe you lack a bit trust on the people in your surroundings or uh, this also can be that you don't want to show that aspect of your life to people you know it's like it's, it's within you you have held it within you very tightly and whether to say or not to say, that is the situation I'm picking up here. Should I be vocal and tell everybody what I'm going through? Or should I stay quiet, stay in the hermit mode, face the situation alone and look for the answers alone, right? 
for some of you i'm actually picking up that you know that you can simply call somebody and get guidance for that but you're just confused whether i should do it or not whether i should stay in the dark and not respond to anybody's call or not call anybody we have the emperor the seven of wands oh my god you're coming out strong here leos queen of wands you are blocking somebody here i'm picking up you're making a very strong decision and you are blocking somebody out for some of you this is actually the same passion ace of wands that we got in the beginning that we received in the beginning right can be an aries leo sounds like you i see aries energy here i see you blocking somebody out and something is bothering you from within maybe you have a secret you know something about somebody but you're not able to share it with other people because it's hard to digest right and uh, firmly coming out from the situation being the emperor you're like i'm blocking this out seven of wands energy i see seven weeks seven days energy maybe you are struggling with the situation from past seven days or seven weeks or maybe upcoming seven days you will get that energy to fight back but you are blocking somebody out and i see it's a fire sign a very firm decision is being made that uh, i need to come back to my aura i need to come back to my energies i cannot stay the hermit forever i am the queen of wands and i'll stay that way forever and nothing can stop me from being into those energy for long right and you're actually resisting any situation anything or any person who is trying to do that who is trying to keep you in the hermit situation right emperor coming back to power coming back to charge okay nine of cups you might take some stand for yourself of course it's going to make you feel happy but that's a big important stand for yourself right we have the sun here the star oh my god brilliant queen of pentacles ten of pentacles here amazing so we have the sun the star and the queen of pentacles okay can be some kind of choice between a fire sign and earth sign and you are thinking about plucking one out right i see that for a long phase i'm picking up that you were dicey about this decision but right now i think you are coming back to power and you are making the decision now leo wow i definitely feel this is about happiness this is about your wishes something connected to a taurus virgo capricorn i see commitment on the horizon though it's like leaving one situation out and opting for the other one we have the two of wands yes opting for a transformation opting for an ending and we have the ten of pentacles king of pentacles energy this can be a beautiful partnership coming your way leos i pick up here that this partnership is meant to stay okay what else what is this two of swords energy why are you struggling to make a decision and what is forcing you to make to stay quiet what was forcing you to stay quiet we have the five of cups the two of pentacles and the king of wands you had your eyes on somebody see again i see partnerships right for some of you this can be a situation of having two partners right one was a fiery attraction connection i don't see commitment here though and other one is actual commitment i see king of pentacles queen of pentacles king of wands queen of wands and this fiery energy is your energy i'm picking up i do feel that you have this new attraction or maybe this person was new in your life and they were trying for a chance the, the attraction is very strong no doubt but uh, i think that was a struggle that whether i should give up on the past and move forward i see some regrets associated in the situation so maybe you tried doing something but it just didn't just come out it didn't just happen i'm picking up we have the knight of pentacles you're getting some Con communication conversation or offer knight of wands yes strong conflict between fire energy and earth energy so choice between fire and earth the fire energy is not here to stay it's all passion i don't see any sort of commitment or any sort of uh, it's just attraction to be very really honest what is this uh, emperor energy i saw nine of wands here what is this emperor energy what is the decision 
High Priestess, stay quiet. Listen to your intuition. King of Pentacles, about an earth sign again. We have, we have two couples on the table. And uh, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. The connection can be between King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Hmm. You're quietly having some downloads, some intuition about an earth sign. And it can be the partnership here with the Queen of Pentacles. The couple here, maybe this person has wife or they are already married. And uh, what is the sun energy? What is making you so happy? In the upcoming week, I definitely see some information coming your way, which is going to make you feel very happy. And I think this decision is also going to make you feel very happy. The stand for yourself. We have the five of wands, the page of wands and the three of wands. Okay. So you're stepping out of the conflict and uh, making a call to somebody. I see a very strong hope and desire to get associated with an earth sign. What is the star energy? Hierophant, okay, yes, Taurus. Taurus can be the energy, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. I see that uh, you stepped out of your comfort zone. There was too much conflict, but you stepped away from it and you took an initiative to contact somebody or you might be doing this week so in the beginning if you were confused whether i should be making the call or not i think this week you can make the call right we have the queen of pentacles let's see what is this queen of pentacles doing because i see that this call might be going towards an earth sign somebody very stable we have the queen of cups and the five of pentacles now this queen of pentacles energy, this person, whosoever they are, they're very emotional. Now again, we have a new character on the table, strength here. This person is trying to resist your communication. This person is trying to resist your call or an urge to contact you. They're cold, they're, they're sad, emotional all over the place. Wow, this is a weird kind of situation, Leo, I'm picking up. Hmm. You're waiting for this person's conversation here. For some of you, it might be a situation where you're turning, you're turning other options down because you are quite sure that this person is going to respond to you. And on the other hand, this person is feeling too emotional and cold. They are just not in a state to say anything. Now, this is the situation where things are getting delayed and that phase of stagnance and quiet. Calm, I'm picking up. Whether they should be responding or not. Whether they will respond or not. Ace of Cups, okay, Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups. I very soon pick up Leos that in your life, you're about to encounter a new beginning in love, right? Now there are so many characters on the table. I see fire sign, earth sign, water sign, but very strongly I'm getting here fire and earth. I see the fire signs getting turned down. So if you were having attraction for somebody, but you were not very sure of commitment, or you were just hanging around with this person, you were talking, dating kind of stuff, but you were not into a commitment. I think that situation might end this week. Not exactly ending, but yes, it might uh, simply be clarified. You know, the, the justice situation, separation for some of you. For some of you, this simply can be a conversation that I'm not into it anymore. For the other situation, I see the earth sign situation. It is in limbo. Some waiting is going to happen. You might call for this person and then for a time being, it might be like waiting, quiet, don't know whether they're going to respond or not. And this person is all over the place. They're too emotional. You have no idea whether they will offer this cup to you or not. There will be a phase of delay, right? There will be a phase of delay. But I do see conversation coming from their side. And uh, the fire sign is still staying. It's not getting over. They will stay in and out. But eventually, I see a new beginning in love. Towards the end of this week or end of this month, I see some new beginning of love. Some new emotional conversation might start with somebody and you're walking away from the unfulfilling situation. For some of you, I'm picking up that this, this fire sign situation was just passion, but it was not emotionally fulfilling. Messages for Leo, please. We have the priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? I'm getting here a message, Leos, that you should get up and initiate. It's time to initiate. In past, I see there was a kind of situation when you were in limbo, you were juggling whether I should initiate, whether I should take the lead, whether I should contact first. 
But if you do, both ways, if this person agrees to work with you, which I do feel that for 60% of you, after a pause, after a gap, this person will come back to work with you. I see a new emotional beginning in your life very soon, right? And for rest of you, for whom this might not be the case, maybe this person is occupied somewhere else and they might not be ready to have this new beginning, at least you will come out of the hermit mode. At least you will come out of the two of swords mode. You will have the clear answers, your waiting phase. You know, the worst part in our life is that we keep on waiting, right? We don't make a move. We don't try to look for clarity. We just wait that one day this will happen out of the blue and our life will be sorted. What is needed right now is to step up your energy and make the move. Get to know, ask this person out. What do you want? Are you coming or not? And if they do not respond, then probably they need some time, wait for a week or so. And if they don't, just move on. You have your answer. Silence is also an answer, right? And if they respond, their answer is going to help you sail through something. The answer is going to help you move on from the situation. If it is a yes, it's a happy new beginning. If it is a no, your path is cleared. Nothing is on the door now stopping you from moving out. So the worst part is that we don't do anything and we keep on waiting. I'm thinking here that do not waste your emotions and energies. Just go and ask it out. We also have releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives unbound. So this is the time you release yourself from patterns and bonds. Past life bonds can also be the case for some of you. Justice situation, justice energy. Release the unhealthy patterns, Leo. And uh, it's time you face the truth. If it is a yes, this person is going to come back rushing towards you. And if not, it might not be your situation. Maybe someone else is waiting for you outside there. I see some situation ending with the fire sign and possible new beginning with either an earth sign or a water sign. But whatever may be the case, you know. Your first advice is coming out to be just take the lead and ask it out. You want to work it? Well and good. Otherwise, I'm going to work it on my own. That kind of energy, I think it's coming up. And I think that is this emperor energy that we had. This phase of limbo is getting over and now you know exactly what you have to do. Make the move and know the answers. So this was your reading for this time period, Leos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.